So let's take a look at how we could actually implement something like this in a kind of thoughtful way. I'm going to go ahead and go back here to my directory. I'm going to ditch all those things just for right now. So I've got a nice, fresh, clean slate to work from. OK. Now, we already know essentially what we're up to here. So we've got a, some kind of big picture ideas. Um, I'm going to assemble a few essential pieces for us to work with, because having those essential pieces in place is going to make it a lot easier for us to actually unpack how we might think about solving some problems. OK. Now, I'm going to create a few top-level bases here. I'm going to make one that's called base assets. I'm going to make, it, make another base here called calibration, calibration nation. And then I'm going to make a container. And I'm going to call this container output. We can imagine that this container over here is essentially equivalent to the same container that we had before. I'm going to go ahead and use the same dimensions, 5120 and 720. That's going to be four containers inside here, container that are 1280 by 720. I'm going to go ahead and call these chan001. I'm going to use this convention channels to represent output channels. And I'm going to go ahead and just make four of these to get us started. And the next thing that we want to do here, now that we have these made, we'll bounce up here on our output. Let's go ahead to our children page and let's arrange these left to right. We won't see anything change yet. That's totally hunky-dory. That's all right. That's what we expect. Now I'm going to go ahead and split my workspace. I'm going to, down here, switch this to a panel because I want to actually be able to see what's going on here in this calibration output this whole time. This is a handy way to work often, this kind of a technique. And then I want to make sure that I've got some assets here kind of set up out the get-go. A few things that I want to kind of have in mind. I want to be able to have some calibration pattern for these things. So I'm going to get started here with a movie file in. I happen to like this handy little calibration texture here. Where did you go? This old-timey television pattern is swell. I'm going to fit this, right? Part of what I want to do is I want to make sure this is actually correct for the channels I'm working with, 1280 by 720. Excellent. I'm going to hook this up to a null. I'll do something like null raw calibration. Excellent. I'm going to make a new base. And mm, 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 mm. I'm just going to drop this over here for now. I'm going to call, I'll just leave this base one. We should really give this a, a better name, but for now, you know, we'll be totally hunky dory working from here. I'm going to split this workspace left, right, because I want to be both inside of this base and up here in the top level for just one second. I'm going to add a select. Oops, a select top, pardon me. And in the select top, I'm going to go ahead and grab this raw calibration. Oh, we can use a relative path for now. That's just fine. I'm going to add a constant top. Now I'm going to go ahead and set this to some other color for right now. I'm going to composite these two together. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that on my transform page, my input 1 is actually what's defining that. That's actually what I want it to be. Then I'm going to grab a text top. I'm going to drop this in here. My text top, I want this to actually be Chan. It's going to be my starting point here. And then the post text, text I want that to essentially match the same Whoa, over here, output the same convention, Chan001. That's what I would like. And you can bet that we're going to make four of these. So how can we get uh, that part automated? I want that life. We're going to write a string, and we're going to use uh, 
Python's format method to get to a kind of slick way to do this. The syntax for this looks like 0 colon 0, 3D, three digits, haha, uh -huh, that's what that stands for, dot for that. And I'm going to use my parent digits for this. And we got to make sure that is an expression for mat. It matters that you spell things right. I'm going to go ahead and turn this all the way up to 80. I'm going to go ahead and align this on the bottom. I'm going to give it a little oops, space here, border space of 20, bump it up a little bit, slick. Let's go ahead and drop an out in here. All right. Slick, slick, slick. I like it. OK, so far so good. I like all of that. I want to do one other thing while I'm here is here on this base, I'm actually going to go ahead and customize this component. I'm going to add a page here called settings. And now what I want to do is I'm going to come over here to this constant. I'm going to use this handy little trick, grab this color parameter, drag it over here to this parameter, and then add that as a new bind par master. What does that mean? It means it filled in all of these expressions for me. Oh my goodness, I love it. And it also means I can control the color of this either from up here at the top level, this new set of parameters I just created, or from down here inside of uh, inside this space uh, at the constant. So that means I should be able to say orange and these values update. <gasps> Great. And I should be able to say pick blue and these values update here on the top. It is really a slick, slick, slick handy new feature. Okay. So let's get back to it. I want four of these two and three, four. Excellent. I'm going to connect this to a null. And I'm going to follow the same convention I have so far. Null chan 001. Excellent. We'll hook all these up. And the other thing we'll do is we'll just go ahead next and make sure these all have unique colors, which is the other important piece because we'll see here in just one second, these actually represent our one, two, three, four channels. So we got the blue, let's do an orange, let's do maybe a green Z, like that, whoa, that's so green. Yeah, it was a little, little darker, whew, heavens. And then let's do a red, why not? You gotta have that red color in there, okay.